Hi, my name is Carol. I'm a retired counselor trying to be one of many to help us all get together and bring things together during this difficult time in our lives. My glamping buddy Lydia and I are bringing you some fun and healthy ways to find joy in every day. Today, day three, in our We'll Get Through This series, we're considering the creative health dimension of the holistic health wheel that I've created. For many people, creativity is considered a non-essential, or maybe it's just a luxury. But actually, being creative is how we express ourselves, whether we're painting a picture or designing a PowerPoint at work, maybe we're remodeling a bedroom or singing a song or writing a poem. It's fundamentally how we express ourselves. On a deep, personal level, this is who we are. So during this time of stress, it's important to experience the expression of this creativity as we become more and more aware of each moment. Consider the two ideas that Lydia and I are proposing to you. My creative healthy tip is way fun. Now, if you have a child in your life, this is easy peasy, but if you don't, you can enjoy this anyway. First, find your favorite music channel, then get out the shaving cream and do some old fashioned finger painting. You can play on the counter, you can play in a bowl, on a desk, even in the bathtub. I got it on my nose now. Feel the texture on your fingertips. Close your eyes and remember that time when you were a little child. Remember and try and get in touch with this, what this feels like. Because this is a very, very important creative venture and it takes no skill or effort at all. You'll find yourself giggling and you'll probably start to become aware of your breathing slowing down. And that's a great thing. Now, if you really want to get creative, you can add paint, swirl the colors together and then lay pieces of paper on top of the cream and it'll create a marbled effect on paper. I'll share the link on the YouTube video so you can really ramp up your creativity if you want to. I have a blast every time I teach this in my art journaling class. Now Lydia, on the other hand, has another idea that she'd like to share with you and she takes it a different direction. For creative health, she suggests we focus on being creative without judging ourselves. <laughs> That's a hard, tall order, isn't it? But hold on, let's give it a try. After all, I'm doing this vlog and even though it's far from perfect, I'm really giving it my best. So take your pick, set up a still life and sketch it with a pencil or crayons. Take a creative photo, play a song on an instrument, try a new recipe, write a creative piece in a journal, anything that will best get those creative juices flowing. Then look at it through a positive lens. It may not be perfect, and if you're like me, Lydia says, you will immediately want to pick it apart but not today. Today, we focus on listing three positive things about it. Feel free to share what you have done or how it felt, or better yet, share with us your positives. Anything you would like to share, we would appreciate because we're doing this with you. And now it's your turn. 
Enjoy today's fun, creative ways to stay healthy with your buddy. And remember, we'll get through this together. Thanks for joining us, and I'll see you tomorrow. You get through.